Hey guys, so um, I'm going to be upfront with you. Uh, this video, it's going to be rather um, emotional as opposed to logical, for me at least. By now, many of you who have been watching this series are probably wondering why I haven't been commenting on the last half of the series or so. I'm recording this at uh, 2.30 a.m. on May 5th. Some of you may realize what time that is. That's right after the Call of Duty Zombies timeline was released. The reason this is a big deal, as many of you no doubt are aware, it calls into question the validity of this series a zombie trilogy that I've made. I just... I... I spent so long on this series. I... The game was released in 2008. I've been keeping up with it all this time. Updating as it went. I released the series a year after Revelations. It's been almost a year. And they just released this timeline. Something I would have killed for when when making this. Um, I wasn't that wrong. I wasn't that right either. I wasn't... I've worked with so many people trying to make this thing. I've, for almost 10 years now, I've given up a significant portion of my life to bring this to you, first with the four-hour documentary and then the better revised version. I spent so many days and time working on this. And I know most of you probably don't care, but for those of you that do, that's why I'm making this video. You ask how much is relevant, how much still applies. I'll tell you this. Yesterday, May 4th, for those of you watching this way in the future, yesterday, everything in my series was as accurate as you could be. I would argue that no one knew the story better than I did, or better than the amalgam of the series that I worked to create with so many others. But today's a new day. And with the new Call of Duty World War II game, zombies becoming a staple, I'm not sure zombies is ever going to end. So to answer your question, guys, am I going to remake this zo documentary? No. I just can't. It's the justification I used to make this version, and now I have to make another, a version 4? It'd be one thing if this series got any popularity, but this series severely underperformed my last one. It's just not profitable. I can't, I can't justify it to make ends meet. I did it this time because this was supposed to be my masterpiece. Zombies was over. The end. That's what the end of Revelation said. And then I'd make this. I'd finish it. I spent so much time until I was able to do it. And that would be it. I finished the masterpiece there. I've done everything on zombies. I am done. Sledgehammer, Infinity War, they can make their own zombies games. Great. But the original ones, Treyarch's, done. That's just not going to happen now. So I've decided that I'm going to just let the series play out. Let you guys see it, any of you who do care. Because yesterday it was completely accurate. And today, I don't know, 80% accurate? 90? Some of the bigger details, the universe beginning, the different realms, some of that is rearranged. Apparently Origins and... Mob the Dead are the same worlds, somehow. But, after the series, 
I'm going to release this video to put to bed any of those questions. I was hoping I could look back on this series as complete, definite, completely accurate. And now I can't. Most of, most of you might be looking at that timeline feeling ecstatic, but for me, I'm just devastated and betrayed. I know they didn't mean it that way. Although I am really angry they waited this long. Really angry about that. And they decided to do it on some YouTube users. I don't know, the whole way about this had me... I'm, I'm genuinely surprised this even happened. I did not think it was going to happen. And now I'm I'm not even sure that they're going to let this franchise die. They might just keep it back. But okay, I'm 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 rambling. I'm rambling. What I can say is if you watch my documentary series, you will know absolutely everything that had ever been a part of the series up till the moment that timeline was released. Everything from Intel to all the games, all the modes, anything Treyarch did for zombies. That timeline they released had a lot of information in it that simply could not be found in the games. New information that would have been invaluable to my storyline, which is why I'm so heartbroken about it. And like, Yuri being the Pentagon thief, apparently? I'm not sure. I Honestly, I kind of skimmed it. Facts that no one could have possibly known. Stuff that Jason Blundell at Treyarch wrote in there to try to make more of a cohesive story out of this thing. I just... It's very useful information to kind of get an idea of the picture. I just so wish that it would have been done earlier. My, I feel like, I feel like so much of the work I put into this was just. The series didn't even get as popular as I was hoping it would be. For those of you who did watch it and enjoyed it, thank you. I wasn't doing it for the views. I was doing it so that I could complete this story, this, this part of my life. Bring closure to it. Put the entire storyline in chronological order so anyone could understand it. You just gotta watch or listen. And now that I don't have that, I suppose what I do have was the next best thing, and that some of you out there may have enjoyed it. If you watch the documentary and then you read the timeline, you can find some transcripts online. Then I can assure you, you'll have a definite picture of everything that went wrong. If you use the timeline to, cor to correct the things that I couldn't possibly have known because no one could have predicted that Treyarch was going to just retcon everything. So yeah, I'm done with zombies. I loved this franchise once. I reached out to Treyarch. I even talked with one of their guys. I just really wish I could have been a part of this. And somehow, instead I'm the antithesis of that. My work is ruined by it. That's a bit of hyperbole, but it feels that way. So after this series is done, I'm not touching zombies. Part of me would love to go back in and make an improved storyline that was truly adequate, but that's exactly what this was supposed to be, and I can't spend another half year compositing another video series just just for them to release the comic, come out with new World at War 2 Nazi zombies from Sledgehammer. You, just, it's never going to end. Call of Duty is an annual series. 
Zombies came out, it was something different, but now it's part of the, the formula. I don't know how you guys are going to react to this video. Some of you guys might just make fun of me, call me a weenie, whatever. No offense, but a lot of Call of Duty fans are rather heartless. I'd like to think that my viewers are more intelligent. Some of you guys leave some pretty great comments. Some of the encouragement really helped. I just hope you guys understand where I'm coming from when you ask if I'm going to redo this series. I know this video is coming out really late. Some of you have probably already been asking for a while. There's more to life than zombies. There's so many more franchises that are just so amazing that I love. There's franchises that are kinder to their user base than zombies, than trolling them all the time. Treyarch is known for that. I wanted to work at Treyarch so badly. I'm a game artist, if some of you have kept up with that, with, with my, my whereabouts, my skills. I'm an animator. But now I don't know anymore. It's not like I would pass up the opportunity. I just I feel violated by this. And I'm rambling again. When this series is done, Kira and I are going to return to playing our Fallout series. Simply because it's fun. It's another franchise we enjoy. And... I don't have to worry about this crap with that. I'm sorry about the unprofessional nature of this video. I just felt it needed to be said so you can understand where I'm coming from. I'll attach a link to a transcript of that timeline in this video. That way my series won't be for naught. It will be 80 to 90 percent accurate and you'll have to read the timeline to fill in on the rest. I would like to just invalidate it. I would like to say that it's just a timeline released by a developer a year after the game was released. You can't really consider that as part of the story, can you? And honestly, I could take that argument. I could be right about that. But I also included some other things in the story, the documentary. That, make, that makes you beg, oh, if you won't take that, then why'd you take this? And that's, that's true. I'm all-inclusive kind of person when it comes to evidence and content towards this stuff. So I really would have liked to include this timeline. Okay, so I, I should really wrap this up soon. I just want to say... For any of you out there that really like a complicated story like this, I would ask you to give other franchises besides Zombies a chance. Zombies is crazy, but there are other very crazy series when it comes to stories. Fallout can be a good one, especially modded. There's Danganronpa, Zero Escape, they're crazy. I really suggest giving Homestuck a try. Just look it up. Makes zombies look like a macaroni painting. Said that before. Where I actually met the person I might spend the rest of my life with. That's more than zombies has ever done for me.
I miss zombies, but not as much as I thought I would. If you've watched this far, thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate your support and watching my series if you enjoyed it. I hope the 10% of inaccuracy that is brought about by this timeline has not upset you too much and made you think that this series is not worth watching. Put a lot of work into it. And if Jason Blundell's fan fiction can be considered canon, then why can't mine? Because he's creative director of zombies. I should just make my own game. If you truly liked us, me, my work, consider checking out Fallout, our Fallout playthrough. We're going to be doing it regardless of views. So, it'd just be nice. Anyway, thank you for watching a zombie trilogy. And I hope you guys have some good zombie slaying in your current or your future adventures. Just because I'm not going to be playing it doesn't mean you guys can't enjoy it. Have a good next month or so till this comes out.